Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Boy TV, and today we're fishing for anything that'll bite. Bluegill, bullheads, sunfish, you name it. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode. We're here at the canal like usually. We're here in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was a bullhead fishing tutorial where I tell you everything you need on how to catch bullheads. Anyway, this spot is a very good fishing spot because you have a canal where you've got colder water from the mountains that run down into a pretty warm lake. And then you have this little like pool thing. And what that does is that keeps all the debris that flies down this thing from getting into the pond and clogging up the dam way down on that end. This makes it a phenomenal spot because one, you've got colder water coming in and this provides a lot of shade. So it's a perfect place to catch bluegill bullheads, all sorts of fish. Um, and another thing is it's got these retaining walls right on the side here, and that is great bluegill habitat. So basically, if you didn't see the last video, we cast into that and we were catching bullheads. But yesterday we were fishing for bullheads because the bluegill bite was not on. It was not very good. They were not biting. But today they are. So today we're just going to be trying to seeing how many species of fish we can catch Yesterday, I mean, I caught little baby carp, I accidentally hooked into a trout, I caught bullheads, green sunfish bass, so we have a chance to catch like five, possibly even six species out of this one spot, so we're going to see how many species of fish we can catch today, and uh, hopefully we can get a lot of species, but anyway, stay tuned, let's get fishing. I literally woke up this morning at three in the morning and just started puking my guts out, so that's why I'm here and not at school. Um, I didn't have anything else planned, so I got my rods rigged up and headed down to the pond, so... It's kind of nice sometimes being sick. <laughs> All right, guys, just got the second species of the day. That's little bluegill. There it goes. So yeah, we're just gonna try and see how many species we can catch. I'm gonna fish for bluegill and sunfish a little bit longer, but then um, we're gonna try for some bullheads and maybe some bass. So we're gonna see what happens. There's also a lot of baby carp swimming around, so I may even try for some of those. So stay tuned because we could be catching a lot of species today. Hey right, guys, changed up rigs a little bit. I added a sinker on there and a little bit bigger hook um we were gonna i was trying to catch bullets over there but none of them were biting so i moved over here and cast it out to the deeper water and they are um on the bottom in the deeper water so sweet third species of the day guys let's get them unhooked and back in the water all righty guys so i'm gonna fish for bullheads for a little bit longer and then um after i get sick of them we're gonna go back over to where we're just fishing at and um we're gonna try for some bass and some carp and we're going to see if we can't catch five species in one day. I decided that this is now the five species challenge of the fish just jumped right in front of me. But this is now the five species challenge. And if we accidentally catch a rainbow trout on accident, it'll be a six species day. So we're going to fish for bullheads for a little bit longer until the school leaves or... They stop biting good, and I'll head back over there and try for some more different species. So, stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be a good day of fishing, I can tell. Now here we've got a strange scenario, guys. I don't know. You guys obviously can't see, but right on the shore there's rocks, and the rocks go down into the water. And the bullheads are on the sandy area where the rocks stop and the sand starts. So basically, this um, whole thing is weird because you've got rocks, then you have sand, and then you have weed. And you have to place your cast so it's right in the sand. So you gotta make a few casts at different lengths and see kind of what depth is where the fish at. So just so you guys know. Alrighty guys, just got another bullhead. Didn't get the hook set because I was actually on the phone with my mom when it happened. Um, but there we go guys, just got a, another bullhead. Um, you gotta be a little patient. They're not in like these thick schools as I thought they were. They're actually um, kind of spread out so you gotta cast and once you catch one just cast in the same spot and wait about five minutes and one will come up so awesome right let's get them off the hook and back in the water all righty guys you got another bullhead i didn't even have time to set up the camera and this one came and bit it so that is just showing you once you find that area where the bullheads are you don't have to wait long so let's get off the hook and back in the water got him fish on guys fish on if you saw my last video, I talked to you guys about setting the hook. Oh, this is a little bit nicer one. Talked to you guys about setting the hook. And that's very important. A lot of people, when they get a bite, they just start reeling. And for a beginner, that's okay. But um, I would definitely, what the heck, I would definitely um, recommend setting the hook because 
a lot of this. Oh, well, there he goes. But um, if you don't set the hook, a lot of the, oh, he's still he's stuck right here. There you go, little. There he goes. Now he's free. Um, a lot of the times, if you um don't set the hook, one thing that'll do is if you just start reeling, um, it will just um they'll swallow it, and the force of the hook set will rip that hook kind of out of their throat and into their in the sides of their mouth, so they don't gut hook it. Another thing is that if you just start reeling. A lot of the times you don't get that hook like stuck in the side of the fish, so they can just spit it out a lot. Um, that too. So setting the hook is very important. If you're a beginner, I wouldn't stress on it a lot. But once you get to the point where you are fishing, you know, for bullheads all the time, setting the hook is very important. Unless you're using circle hooks, but that I'll do a whole different video on that. Let's just make another cast and try and catch more bullheads. Alrighty guys, now I've talked about the rod, the reel, the rig, I have everything you need to do. Um, so if you guys, you know, are trying to get out and go fishing for your first time ever, this is an awesome setup to catch bluegill, bullheads, bass, anything. So what the rod is, um, it's called the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Dock Runner. It comes with a reel with line on it. So you get three very key parts of the fishing experience for only like 15 bucks on Amazon. So it's a great combo. I love it. It's almost indestructible. It's great. Um, for using kids, it bends great, it's awesome. Comes with probably four pound test line, I think, something like that. So great reel, great rod, and you can, they're nice and small, you can transport them, and they can handle pretty big fish. So I absolutely love this rod. Um, and then I'm gonna show you my gear I've got here. So basically what I've got is I've got a nice little, tiny little, it's probably like a 1 8 ounce, 1 16 ounce little cannonball lead. And the last video I was fishing with, I was fishing with this exact same rig, just slightly bigger stuff. And then probably about a foot from the weight, I've got a probably a size 8, no, probably not a size 8, it's like a size 8, 9, something like that, uh, eagle claw bait holder hook, and I'm just gobbing worms on there and casting it out into that sandbar, and that is all you need. So, honestly, you guys can get out and catch fish for literally under, like, 30 bucks. It's a great easy easy setup you can do all on your own you hey guys just got our fourth species of the day just got a nice little largemouth bass on a piece of worm there it goes one more species left now it comes the decision we can either choose to catch we can try and catch a rainbow trout we can try and catch a baby carp or we can try and catch a hybrid blue yellow green sunfish or a pumpkin seed so that's kind of the decisions we have I don't think I want to go for trout because there's not a lot of them in this little bay area. And I don't think I want to go for carp because there's so many carp around here. And so many people fish for these carp that they are not really eating any of the bait that I have. So I think we're going to go and try for a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. And they're pretty rare, but I think they're going to be our best bay if we want to complete this challenge. And if we can't get one of those, then we'll try for some carp. And then if all else fails, we'll go to trout. Guys, just got a hybrid and completed the five species slam. Now, a lot of you guys in the comments are going to say, that's a bluegill or that's a green sunfish, but I'm going to show you what makes it not. So, bluegill, their stripes go up and down, they go vertical, and green sunfish stripes go, wait, bluegill stripes go up and down, green sunfish go side to side. So, you can see that this stripes go up and down, so it already looks like the characteristics of a bluegill. But, it also has yellow fins and a yellow belly, so that makes it a hybrid, it's a mix of both. So guys, that is the fifth species of the day. The challenge is complete. That is so, so, so awesome. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos um, from my channel, I post lots of videos. Um, they're all about fishing, and um, they're really awesome, really funny. So if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.